Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, and I am here with young adult pastor Adam McIntyre, and he just brought the first part of our new series, Oh Come Let Us Adore Him, a look at worship. Welcome, Adam. Thank you yes. so much for being here. Okay, so today we looked at the shepherds and what we can learn um, from Scripture from the way that the shepherds worshiped yeah. Jesus. Um, a great look at, at that. And you told so many um, stories of transformation, uh, particularly the one around the prisoner yeah. that you met um, through the program that you went and helped with. Um, we did kind of have a question that came in around that that you can clarify and maybe speak sure. more to his story. Um, so you you said that he was ashamed of his tattoos right. and um, was that an assumption or is that maybe a conversation that you had with him? Yeah, no, he, he came out and told me that that was why he was wearing long sleeves and that's why he was growing out his hair was because he was ashamed of the tattoos that he had. And it wasn't, he wasn't ashamed that he had tattoos. He was ashamed of what his tattoos represented. Mm -hmm. All of his tattoos he got while he was in the, in the gang and they all represented his old life. Mm -hmm. And so he was covering them up because that's not who he is anymore. He mm -hmm. was transformed and he became a completely different person. And so he was trying to cover up the physical reminders of who he used to be. What a great, powerful story of yeah. transformation. Um, and then uh, just talking about the shepherds, you presented a lot of information about the shepherds. Mm -hmm. I think um, very accurate pro projection of how um, Sometimes in scripture, we, we kind of see them as we want them on the Christmas card right. or we want them um, cute and cuddly and fuzzy yeah, like the absolutely. sheep. Um, but you, you gave us this picture of how they were outcast and what a, what a powerful picture it was that they were the first to receive yeah. the message. Um, talk more about using the word criminal as a shepherd. Um, there, was a, there was a question that came around that. What gave them the reputation of criminal? Um, can you talk more about that? Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things that uh, regardless of whether or not they were criminals, that's just kind of the reputation that they gained. In fact, um, even outside of the Pharisees, like a lot of the businesses in Rome would have posters that would say shepherds are not allowed inside because for whatever reason, they were known as a people who comes in and steals things. Um, and so that was, again, uh, whether it was deserved or not, that was just kind of the mm -hmm. reputation that they earned. Um, and uh, I mean, it's in all kinds of different history books, even outside of just theology books. You can look at just gen general history books from that first century setting and mm -hmm. see that shepherds were not liked very much okay. at all. Um, and you spoke to me a little bit before about just Jesus being compared to a shepherd. Yeah. Can you speak to that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah a lot of times we, we read the verses about Jesus being the shepherd and we assume, oh, well, that means that Jesus is... Uh, the one guarding his flock, protecting his flock, uh, leading his flock. And that, it does mean that, but it has a double meaning. He willingly took on that title because of the stigma that it had at the time. He knew that to be a shepherd meant to be the lowest of the low. And that's exactly who he was. He humbled himself completely to be a servant. He was mm -hmm. a homeless king, mm -hmm. essentially. Not a, I mean, that's what he was. Mm -hmm. uh, and not only that, but he knew that with that title shepherd, that also... Um, people would assume that they were criminals. And Jesus was crucified as a criminal. Mm -hmm. Most people who didn't follow him viewed Jesus as a criminal, as an enemy of the state. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus took on that title as kind of like a, a double meaning. Great. Um, I love this look at worship and how it's more than just singing. Yeah. And sometimes that's what we relate it to. And so I'm excited to continue in the um, series. So thank you for your perspective today. Absolutely. Enjoy. Very much enjoyed yeah, it. And thank you me. for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here for part two next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.